hello youtube welcome back to my video today we are going to check uh, js of internationalization uh, which means uh, you can uh, make your java a js of project to support different languages with the help of java so here we go okay now i'm going to create a new project so it's basically java web application uh, and i'm giving uh, the name as java inter and just click next i'm updating all the uh, other things as uh, default just click next <coughs> and in the so i am selecting it as a patch and top get and uh, click next now the framework i am selecting the java server faces as you know uh, it's a server faces project and all the configuration let it be default and just click finish so first i am going to uh, my project uh, I am going to create a faces config file, which is the uh, base file which uh, uh, we configure our uh, the primary uh, the default language. So I'm, I want to uh, create the faces config first. Now to create the faces config, now just select uh, the JS of faces configuration and just click next and let it be the default name faces config XML and in the default location just click finish okay my uh, faces config file has been created so here uh, is the, here is uh, we specify our default language of our web application now open an uh, application tag first and uh, close it now uh, inside this open a uh, local config and now uh, inside this just open a uh, default locally so which is uh, our basic uh, uh, language which we want to set here now uh, let's uh, give the default language as en now i'm going to create the message uh, resource bundle here so just uh, go to the new and uh, select for a uh, properties file the category is uh, in other you can see a properties file is a uh, just click next and uh, I'm giving the name as message and then now I'm placing this in uh, Java uh, I mean in the Java class path so it will be Java will uh, will uh, change it to a custom package now let's click finish just click finish to create it okay now I'm going to create a new package here uh, com dot chillyfax.com now I'm going to uh, transfer this file to here okay now uh, inside the properties file I'm uh, just giving a message a value so message uh, testing so now I'm just giving message English uh, hello to United States uh the country uh, of uh, donald trump let's see how it is looking okay i have just uh, given a, a message here a message in english just to specify that now let me save this now i have to conf uh, configure this uh, message properties the resource bundle in my faces config now here I am just uh, giving a tag resource bundle and uh, inside that I want uh, the base name which is my location of my uh, properties file and uh, now a where tag so this is the variable name which we want to use uh, in the JS of front end and the JS of pages now here now I am giving uh, the location as com.chillyfax.com uh, dot uh, message in the where section I am just giving as msg ok so we have configured the properties file in our faces config now going back to our pr the index page I am uh, just uh, printing that value now first give a breakpoint here and I'm just uh, printing that value uh, output text and uh, it's uh, the value is 
hash uh, message as you can just call by uh, msg dot message english okay so this is the name which we have given in the messages properties now let me run uh, this project and let's see the output first as you can see uh, the output is uh, came here this is the uh, message property which we have given here now uh, let me give a small heading here just remove this and they give me a header tag so this is a jazz of internationalization example okay and now we have to do some coding for changing this uh, message in english to different languages uh, we are going to try that now i'm going to create a manage bin for that jazz of manage bin just search for jazz of uh, no just search for manage bin so the manage bin is available in java services select that now i'm giving the name as uh, uh, language change and let all the others be default i am selecting the package as com dot dot com and just click finish okay and uh, the the just of manage bin has been created now it's missing our manage bin tag so just import that uh, manage bin annotation and it's from uh, java x faces dot bean and same way just uh, annotated uh, session scope so it will be session scope now i am uh, going to write some uh, variable here and a small function to change the language uh, as per the user input now i'm going to declare a uh, string here private string let it be a uh, language code And again, uh, I'm declaring a hash map of countries that uh, that could be uh, loaded from the uh, front end just of paid. So uh, let it be uh, private. Uh, static map of uh, a string and an object. Map of a string and an object and uh, in the map i'm just uh, giving it as countries uh, okay now i'm going to uh, set some default values on the initial loading of our project give a small uh, static uh, static uh, block here so instead that i'm creating uh, the countries ha linked hash map this equal to new or uh, linked hash map it is also of a string of uh, and uh, object now let's uh, finish that no there's another now uh, just put some values to our countries now I'm just putting uh, put the value as English as the key and the object I am uh, Put in the language code so it's locally is from uh, java.util now let me check what all languages is uh, available so more uh, okay we'll try now um, japanese let's say let's check japanese okay now let me copy paste this i'm just giving it as japanese and uh, put it as um, Japanese okay let's see now I am uh, going to create a small uh, function it's a small method that can be called from uh, the JS of page uh, the function is uh, that can be called from JS of page uh, to take the user input now first uh, let me create the setters and getters for this one set language code and get language code okay and uh, i'm just giving a small method here which is an action listener uh, that is uh, when the user select uh, the drop down which is english or japanese uh, that should be submitted to the jazz of uh, manage bean and the manage bean processes uh, the request and changes the language so that is what i'm going to do now i'm uh, 
okay i have uh, copied the code here we are uh, using the value change event uh, we have we have in just a three event uh, event manager and uh, we can use uh, any of the three but now for ex our example i am using the value change event just uh, press control space to, to uh, import it so it's from java's uh, dot faces dot event value change event now again the faces context it is also from java's uh, faces context now what it is doing is when uh, the user select the uh, values from the chess of page so it will be uh, taken as the event and uh, we can see the event value is uh, coming as an object it's converting to string and this new language code is used to take uh, the language uh, specific language uh, it is in Japanese or English uh, the language is uh, taken from uh, the user and it will update uh, the language using the faces context instance okay now going back to our uh, index.xhtml we have to write some code to uh, have the functionality to take uh, allow user to change the, his input language now I am uh, creating a small form here so it's a form HTML basic form so inside this I'm just giving you a drop down uh, select language and uh, it's uh, basically a uh, uh, select one menu okay select uh, one menu and uh, just finish there so the values select one menu values is actually uh, from the hash map so it's uh, uh, we can ca directly call the JS of uh, the hash map which we have configured uh, in the uh, manage bean so it's a language change dot uh, it's we are submitting uh, this value to the lan language code so uh, the values inside this select menu is coming from as I told it's from uh, the uh, has the map hash map uh, not hash map the map uh, which we have given here to load the uh, countries so initially it's loading two values now in the index page let me give the values as coming from the hash map so it's a lang code uh, dot uh, this is not loading yes uh, yes here we have set it as static should not be static uh, to get in the JSOF page and we it came static by default when we uh, create the, the get as it is by de by default net beans uh, suggestion so i just remove the static now uh, going back to the page yes countries is coming here okay now we are all ready uh, to test the first thing because nothing will happen here we, we, we just we want to check uh, the language uh, i mean the drop down is working well there is some error showing here what happened to this okay the let me run this code now just click run yes our drop down has been loaded as per uh, the thing which we have uh, given in the uh, uh, in, in the uh, JS of manage bean now we have to submit this one on uh, to update uh, the value of uh, the language of the index page so I'm just giving it as uh, on change submit so on making it uh, submit uh, this will submit the form so we should uh, specify a value change uh, listener also to be once uh, this is submitted there should be a listener to listen the values so i am just setting uh, a value change listener same way uh, it's uh, langcode dot uh, what is the name of that uh, method yes country local code change same same name we have to give the so it's uh, yes so it will uh, take the event there okay now i guess it will work let's try running yes we have uh, no we don't need a parameter here should be without parameter 
now let me run this and uh, let's check the output yes now it's uh, all loaded let me refresh it yes let me check japanese and see what's output no it's not running it is not running because we uh, have intentionally left out one important uh, thing which uh, i need uh, to specify and uh, during the end of this project that's why i just left it so it is because uh, as you can see we have message dot properties this is the english version of that we need the properties file for the, all the languages which we are uh, putting in our in our project now for example we have uh, put japanese and the localized japanese we need so we should need the localized japanese a properties file for the same message what um, we have written here okay now i'll show the step by step how to uh, put it now we have to copy paste a japanese prop properties file so now i'm just copying and pasting it okay now going back to this here now if i press control and click in this you can see uh, a create constant ja so it will be looking for message underscore ja which is the japanese properties file same way if it is simplified chinese it will be looking for zh underscore cn now for our example it's uh, message underscore ja i'm just updating it as message underscore ja okay now i have to this is the message i have to find out the uh, japanese version of uh, this message going back to our project i mean uh, the google just uh, search uh, english to japanese okay now here text i'm just pasting it so this is the japanese version of uh, this uh, uh, this uh, message uh, let me copy it come back to our project i'm just pasting it that here okay now save it now as you can see the both version is coming here default language and japanese version is coming okay now that's all that's all for uh, that configuration now let me go over to the project let me refresh it now if i select definitely it should work okay so don't forget to create a separate properties file for all the languages which you are uh, intending to give in the projects okay so that's all for now uh, about internationalization of uh, the jsub project if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching i'll share the source code in the description you can have it and please like and subscribe.